आपतास आयुर्वेदा रीच आयुर्वेदा टू ईच चरका फॉर वन अर्थ फर्स्ट एवर नेशनल लेवल आयुर्वेदा डॉक्यूमेंट्री फिल्म कॉन्टेस्ट ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ चरक जयंती 2023 थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री ऑर्गेनाइज बाई टीम आपदास टाइटल स्पॉन्सर बाय अष्ट वैद्यन थाय काटुमोस वैद्य रत्न औषधशाला त्रिशूर केरला आपदास आयुर्वेदा इज अ ग्रुप ऑफ पैशनेट आयुर्वेद वैद्यास एंड स्टूडेंट्स कॉन्स्टेंटली वर्किंग टू रीच आयुर्वेदा टू ईच Every year on Charaka Jayanti we come up with a unique contest to motivate our Ayurveda youth and promote thoughts of Acharya Charaka. This year we are organizing a national level Ayurveda documentary film contest as Charaka for One Earth which is unique and first of its kind in the field of Ayurveda. civilized humans described by a way of life that came and evolved about as people began to develop networks with the people around them by days went on that said to be jana meaning people group of humans with common ideas various folks gave rise to farming when they accidentally found few species growing together and can be consumed as foods farming gave rise to settlements and further villages and township developed as people loved the food and water available there this was called to be gramya dharma in ayurveda gramya dharma gave rise to domestication of animals agriculture population centers developed called janapada contains monumental architectures temple societies art styles painting dancing drumming writing and calligraphy and system for administering territories called rajya paripalana as said in ayurveda when the dharma related to civilizations that is janapada collapses we mention to it as janapada dhvamsana where there is calamity taking place either naturally by natural forces such as vayu jala kala or desha man made calamities in small domesticated levels to intersocial involvement adharma in small scale said to be pragnya parada which will in turn leading to various rogas for circumstances where the individual or family involves to affect the smooth functioning of households such as irresponsible way of garbage disposal throwing garbage and household rubbish in roads and also near water bodies as said in sadvrata littering the public places and roads and making contamination near water bodies is meant to be papa karma person spitting in roads near to jalashaya or in the junction of roads is prohibited to as these are personal misbehaviors but leading to harm of others in society Long term spillage of garbage in water bodies leads to clogging of water and in large scale industrial wastes expelled in water bodies like dyes detergents chemical bases and acidic reagents will leads to water body pollution passing urine and fecal matter near the water bodies leading to water borne diseases and leads to communicable disorders it eats away the aquatic biosystem leads to vikruta jala lakshana like viruddha gandha kleda bahulatva apriti kara of the water bodies and all the natural qualities of water will be lost upagata guna will be obtained will be leading to shortage of water in the society further jalam iti jeevanam water is life as said by vedas 
when there is scarcity of the life sources stability of the society shakes janapadas were built on the top of water availability and food surplusness as un organization stated world war in future can be because of water and food scarcity future dependency of life sustenance is in today's generation hands all over the world nations maintain their overruling on other countries by nuclear power and communication technology either through space science or through satellites nuclear power was emerged as a con from 20th century which engulfed millions of life during second world war yuddha is mentioned as maha janapadodvamsa in dhanurvidya as it take away all the dharma paripalana in the janapada more than nature's hunger humans hunger for power of ruling over continents led to erasing of one total generations of 90s era and also radiation out of it is causing cancer even nowadays mutation in genes leading to anatomical anomalies of the generations wars leading to the vikrata desha like pratanadi bahula as mentioned in janapado dwamsana excessive growing of unwanted weeds and destruction of the plants and animals suffering of wildlife and floras due to bewilderment and ati bhaya vakra roopam fearful sounds of missiles and bombs destroying the humanity janapada living in such deshas appears confused about future agitated wild and frightened After formation of UN organization nations came for sustainable development on the basis of economy and bulk production of needs which formed the pedestal for industrialization revolution industries bathed at people who ran their livelihood in small scale production monstrous growth of industries were fixed up out of greed of economy and to show the power of dependence excessive production of textiles rubber substitutes tires chemical fertilizers were boomed leading to asatmya gandha bashpa dhumo pahatavayu in the air chemical found during world war 2 now misdirection for production of pharmaceutical products and nutritional supplements ahara and aushada upaghata started taking place greed for economy made path to unhealthy behaviors like junk foods food fortification with unnatural elements making way to non communicable disorders like prameha and atistaulya lifestyle of janapada changed during the time progress and in 21st century emerged as the age of technology facilitated our life reduced lot of communicable diseases by proper vaccination gave a posh for livelihood and sustenance of housing in large cities housing amenities are grown in metropolitans and township and rural development is also concentrated slums of urban areas led to poverty and lack of nutrition diminishing their development supplying goods to larger settlements will be done when surplus supplies are satisfied by industries import and export to other nations led to utmost production possible by factories which made them to rely few bases to protect the sources available around them technology eased the communication and internet shortened the world as a global village but misusing of the facilities took the folks into over exploitation of it exposing the personal corridors of their home sexual exploitation domestic violence emerging as a side effects of internet exploitation and misconduct such as drug abuse and alcohol addiction which also leading to the unhealthy body figures personal habits leading to harm in society as they develop family disputes divorces and violence in public places sexual harassments and rapes towards women wide usage of drugs marks all the values of dharma it masks the dharma and lead to child abuse and killing of their own kids and kin urban culture developed the population up to the level of explosion in order to satisfy the basic needs of people food and agriculture modernization took place chemical dependency for pesticides and fertilizers gave surplus yield of crops but reduced the self rejuvenation nature of the lands 
which gave rise to soil infertility. Non-biodegradable plastic waste and e-waste totally reduce the bioavailability of this brown magic element of nature called soil. Altogether, Pancha Mahabhutas taken for granted by human race which now influencing the fourth dimension of Janapadodvamsa that is Kala, time. Notice of climate change that is Rutu Viparyaya influencing on the changes in makeup of our planet. Life dependency on earth is getting disturbed as rainfall, polar regions are getting melted, cloud formation is getting disturbed, earth's geoplates are disturbed in minute to magnified manners leading to frequent earthquakes and tsunamis. Overexploitation of natural resources, not maintaining the personal and civic hygiene, behavioral conduct has to be taken utmost care to withheld the human's responsibility towards the environment. Self-centered human nature of Kali Yuga gave rise to situation at which the Janapada is standing now. Adharma caused by our generation and our ancestors towards nature has to be rectified by self-analysis and mass education related to health to the population and behavioral changes in personal and also in the national way. Legislation laid in order to maintain the society has to be followed by every individual to maintain the conduct in house and by establishments to pervade the peace in the society. Janapada is tied by love and dependence on each other. It will be maintained through scientific approach of health education and lawful legislation and realizing the need of saving our home as well as the earth in the larger way that we took it for granted. Realize, rectify and rearrange. If we stand with dharma, it saves us. Dharmo Rakshati Rakshitaha Subscribe and share this video to all and join hands with us to reach Ayurveda to each.